Hey guys, so welcome to our channel, IFB Pro Cho. So we're gonna show you guys, um, you know, our day. Today's my rest day. Are you training today? I'm training today. Oh, fuck, wow. It's Tuesday. Oh, I forgot. So I'm doing two days on, one day is off. And then she does. I'm training like a normal Monday, person. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, yeah. So I'm a little <laughs> messy, but I, mean, I love my training. So I noticed that like if I work out more than two days, my joint hurt, and you know I'm like basically a grandpa. You're an old man. Or the Asian grandpa, like. <coughs> you know, making this out. Those noises all the time. <laughs> so anyway, so we gotta show you what what we are doing today. I'm um, just our day. Mm. You know, we have obviously just woken up, if you can't tell from our faces. Yeah, I'm getting moon face, but that's okay. You know, it's part of the post post the show, you know, show rebound. But so we got the fast the cardio. I just made some sweet potato. Mm -hmm. So you know the Korean sweet potato is so good. And then um, we are about to go do fast the cardio. Mm -hmm. And then start our day. We went back upstairs. So my dumbass forgot water. Forgot my headphones, so we're going back out. Okay. Okay. It's usually happened to Sierra. It does. Me, it's always me. You know, off season I'm not only just getting fat, it's just my brain's getting fat at the same time. Mm -hmm. I'm sure I'm not the only one who's feeling this way. <laughs> okay, so am I the only one? Like, I don't give a shit about how my body looks, but like, I just want to have like lean face. That's it, you know? So my sugar mama is going to give me an injection on my face. So hopefully I can, you know, I'm going to get smoke Hi, Bella. So what that is, it's like a fat dissolving injection. So we're yeah. going to dissolve all the fat in this face. Yeah. Hey, if you're, um, if you're like a mess by looking for sponsors, I'm just kidding. Let's go. So I need some cardio too. Our little baby, she wanna go little. You know, she doesn't. She's like, she's like shredded. She's so short. She's already like two weeks out. I know. She's she's seeing it like two weeks out, twenty four seven year round. That's how I always say two weeks out, twenty four seven. I'm only lean for two weeks. Last two weeks before the show. Same. And boom. And boom, I get fat again. So I'm like at one eighty five right now. So twelve pounds up after like three weeks. Something like that, push up, check not too bad. Still working abs. Um, yeah, shape's still here, so I'm trying to keep it really tight for a while and then start hitting a. 10 pounds up. Hitting a fun off season after brother work. Yeah. Mine's tomorrow, so maybe I should be vlogging tomorrow too. Oh, really? What time? 9.20. See, 9. Really? 9.20. We can go together. Perfect. Maybe. Our blood works at different places. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get you the crook plate. <laughs> You're flexing your ass. Am I? <laughs> morning cardio is done. So honestly, my I kind of missed out my morning routines. So I wake up, I usually do dishes, but it's piled up, so I'm just about to do it now. Um, I usually like do vacuums and stuff, but I woke up late, so we just did our cardio, and then she's making my coffee, and we're gonna have some breakfast, and we will show you guys what we eat for our breakfast. It's not gonna be, thank you, oh nice, thank you. I'm a little picky ass, she's still in it that. But we're not gonna obviously show you like everything today, I don't know the video's gonna, I think the video's gonna be so long. So whatever we like eat, we will kinda tell you guys whatever we are eating and stuff, but we got a one question. Yes on my Instagram and they say how did you start it you know competing and what what was the thing that you have to like overcome for you for, like, both. for both of us I guess so I'm gonna go short um, how did I start it so I was going through a breakup at the time I was in college my two years of relationship ended um, so I'm like you know what instead of drinking and going party I'm just gonna like get jacked so I said going to gym more and I was watching a YouTube video, it's so funny because I actually searched it and I searched like how to deal with the heartbreak. And then they were like, hey, your heart is broken, so you have to exercise. You gotta pump that heart up. So I started swimming. I swim for like, so I work out for like two hours and I was swimming for about an hour and a half or so. And next thing you know, after like a month or so, I was like shredded and people were like, hey, you should probably like compete and see how you play. I was tiny, I was like 140 something pounds. So I did my first show, um, I was 139 pounds on a stage and that was fun for me, you know? So, and then I fell in love, I'm like, holy shit, this is something that I want to do. 
with my life and I felt like, you know how you fell in love, that's how I felt about competing. And I'm like, holy shit, I'm just, I just wanna do it. And you know, I just wanted to get better and better, so you know, here I am. And then the things that I have to overcome was, I love food, like I really do. I truly enjoy all the food, foods and stuff, so that's something that I had to go through. And then the genetic wise, I had a YouTube channel before, uh, I still have a Korean YouTube channel. And then, you know, just having the comment people saying, they're like, dude, like, you don't have a genetic for it. You're just like, just don't do it. And like, you know, just all the mean comment, like, hey, if you're time pro, like, you know, I would just kill myself or something like that. Even the worst shit. Really said that to you? Yeah, stuff like that. So what I did, I screenshot all the like, mean comment and I put that on a lock screen. So when I was on prep, I was legit like reading the comment and then just doing workout. That was two years ago. And then, yeah, I no. I can't believe you did that. Yeah, so that's like how I dare with that. So it actually like worked out for me. Um, helped me to stay motivated. And yeah, here I am. What about you? So I started competing bodybuilding because he was competing bodybuilding. Um, I was actually powerlifting before. The way I got into powerlifting is very similar. I was in college going through a breakup. But um, instead of deciding to get jacked, I decided to like party all the time. And then I was like, damn, I'm getting really fat. I better start working out, but I hate doing cardio. And then I got an email and they were like, join the powerlifting club, like no cardio. <laughs> I think they actually put that in there. And I was like, oh, that sounds like it's the club for me. So I went and I joined powerlifting and I went to their gym and then I started competing. And then fast forward, eight years later, I met him. I was tired of powerlifting. I broke top four in the world. And then I was like, well, you're a bodybuilder. Like I should do a prep. And he's like, you eat chicken nuggets post-workout. Yeah. So it was pretty horrible. He's like, you're not going to do a prep. Like I'll believe you're going to do a prep when you follow a diet for two weeks. And I was like, okay, challenge accepted. And then I did. Yeah. And you, she did. And you know, first show, she won the whole thing, local show. I was a little jealous. I'm like, who, who the fuck just do a one prep, win the whole show and do Olympia amateur. I shit you not, she won her class and missed her pro card by one spot at her first national show. And I'm just like, wow, that's something. And then, you know, she wanted to compete more, but I'm like, hey, you gotta be smart. You gotta take off season, make sure you're healthy. No. And next year, like, there's no doubt. And then next year, she turned pro, won yep. her class. And we then both won our, cla both won won our, our class. class. And, and then we went pro at the same time. Yeah, so. Pretty cool. Are. What's the thing that you have to work in, though? Um, so I was used to like winning, 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 like all the time, just because like in powerlifting, it's not hard. Um, in powerlifting, like depending on what meets you enter, if you're like a fairly strong person, it's not hard to go to a meet where you're like gonna win. Does that make, I think that makes sense. That makes sense, right? Yeah. So it's like, I'm used to like, I was used to winning. I was used to being on the top. Like I was like, had just broken like top four in the world. Even though I won my class at the Olympia amateur because I didn't get my pro card, I felt like I lost which I know is a bad like mindset to have. And it really like, to be honest, like really like destroyed me after that. And so I really had to like get past that and kind of like learn how to be a better loser, even though I didn't lose, but I just needed to learn how to be a little bit of a better loser. Hey, like, I don't care whatever you guys say, like I might not be the, the greatest competitor out there, but hey. He's really good at if, losing. If there's like a losing competition, I would be Miss Olympia, I'm just saying. When I lose, I mean, like, yeah, you get sad and stuff, but at the end of the day, hey, you did bring your best and you look better than last year. That's what matters for me, you know? So I've lost so many times, like, I'm just used to losing and that's what motivated me and that's what got me here. So I think that, like, you know, I say that all the time. When you lose, don't get hung up on that. Yeah, you lost and what's gonna change? Like, you know, being, being upset is not gonna change. Sure, some people take it like, okay, I'm upset, and then, you know, they use it as a motivation. That's not for me. At the end of the prep, like, all the people are there to support you. I just smile. I'm like, hey, we don't have to talk about competing. Let's just get fucked up. Let's just eat some good food yeah. and move on, you know? Yeah, I'm not like that. I'm not very good at losing. Um, so it took me a while to, like, get over that and really get past that. I, like got you know really like chunky in my like off season and i learned like a lot of lessons through my like off season and then through this prep and i think that if i had like won and i had gotten my pro card like i probably wouldn't be in as good of a spot as i am right now sure, sure, there now this is what i was just yelling at that, that's our this is our little our baby Sarah, which means loving korea Sarah. look how jack she is though she's thick hey. hi so she's on girl, two meals a day diet you know, trying, <laughs> Two to, meals a day. trying to um, lose weight. Protein only. 
Our house is kind of a mess because her toys are everywhere. She is a little crackhead. There we go. Have her catch it. Oh, good catch, dude. Good job. Oh, yeah, she's an Italian greyhound, if you're wondering. Mm -hmm. Best dog ever. She is the best dog if ever. If you're toxic, you like someone who just like be next to you 24-7. You should right get an Italian here. greyhound. We're having our breakfast here. Um, I got a, how many grams of oat? 80 grams of oat. 80 grams of oat. And then um, I have a, uh, where's my turkey bacon be? Oh. <laughs> so yeah, that's like my eggs and then um, four ounces of shrimp. And then I have a two turkey bacon. I'm a bacon boy. Bacon I love boy. bacon. I love American breakfast, but you know. So still trying to be good on off season, and then that's what um, what's in there: turkey, bacon, and eggs, and egg white. You know. Yeah. And then she make her pancakes with sweet potato. Yeah. So it's 60 grams of sweet potato, 20 grams. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> 60 grams of sweet potato, 20 grams of oats, um, three ounces of egg white, um, baking powder, and oh, banana. So our Tim Cho knows our secret weapon is sweet potato. So I love that I little GI. Potato. It doesn't, you know, spike your blood sugar level, which will help you less craving, make you less hungry. So, yeah. um, but we got we got some good questions, yeah. Yes. So we got some questions here. So we gotta answer one first before we eat. Yeah. So what's cardio like during prep versus off season? Okay. So for me, during prep, um, it really depends. Also, it's like not set amount, but usually 30 to 50 minutes. Um, end of the prep, I add another like hour, but it's not like me going crazy on the cardio. It's more like going outside and walk, or like treadmill, incline two or three, walking at like 2.7, 2.8 miles per hour. Versus so it's not like crazy. If you're a normal athlete, I do like five, incline five, and then like 3.1, 3.2 miles per hour. Yeah. So it depends also I in the fast, fast, fast so in the cardio. Fast. So I try to keep it at like one, 120, 130 between yeah. there. That's how I know that my body drop a lot of fat during those like heart rate range. So it really varies on person. Some people drop more on 130, 140. But if I do that, I feel like my body's getting too tired. Yeah. And then, you know, I don't get recovered from it. It affects my workout, which means I'm burning less calories during workout. My cortisol levels go high. So 120, 130 was a sweet spot for me. And then after workout, um, probably like later on, 6, 7 p.m. between yeah. those times, I just walk because I get hungry. Yeah. And I don't want to think about food end of a prep. So I just walk in my heart rate, I keep it at like one, 105 to 115 around there. Yeah. Uh, mine is a little more intense just because like, I don't know how he just loses weight like that. Like, goddamn, like that's amazing. Must be good to be you. Yeah. Um, but in the morning I walk for like 45 minutes to an hour at incline. like incline, uh, probably like for 15. me, I have to hit like incline like 15 yeah, max. and then like three miles per hour. To get the heart rate up. Yeah, to get my heart rate up and as then, high as it takes him for like 2.7 yeah. at like 10. And then she was doing the walking post. Yep, and yeah. then the um, walking to, as yeah. well at nighttime. But the nighttime walking was like he was saying, like a lot less intense because the same thing for me, I can't recover um, with doing just like two hours of stairs. Like I just can't recover, I can't do my workout suffer, my everything suffer, my body stalls, my cortisol level goes up and whatnot so yeah. we so both have to have that like lower intensity higher like volume if you're if you're on prep make sure that like um, what was I gonna say? you're recovering oh, count your steps that that's the game changer so a lot of people just think they're like oh I'm doing 40 minute cardio I'm gonna drop like crazy but think about like you know your other people activity. so if you if you're working on a construction job or any type of like physical job you probably don't need that much cardio just because you're already getting enough steps done your activity level is really high but if you're like working home and then you're not doing shit like me, then you gotta start counting your steps. If yeah. you're not hitting the certain steps, that means you're not really burning that much calories, and then walking helps you a lot on digestions and all that shit. So walking is our secret weapon. So walking and during off season, we're the same, eh? We don't really go uh, strict about it. We're trying to hit the 10K steps daily. If we don't, then I add my cardio post-workout, 20 to 30 minutes there. So nothing crazy. Um, it's really about the same, yeah? Uh, I have for sure have to do my cardio in the morning. Like if I don't do cardio in the morning, I'm just like too fat, uh, <laughs> like mentally, not like physically. Yeah. And so I try and do like just two miles. So if I do two miles, I'll do two miles outside with the dog or two miles on the treadmill. Um, so it usually ends up being like 35, 40 minutes or so. But, and then I try to keep, I 
keep my heart rate just above like 110. Oh, uh, Sierra's like at the gym um, doing a personal training right now. So we don't really do personal training, but we work with some like competitors that we love to work with. And whenever they need a personal training session, we do all for it, but like we stop getting uh, lifestyle personal trainings and stuff because we do like traveling and we love just focusing on our online client. So I just finished my online client plan. We had about three new clients um, last week. So I just finished up all the plans and just sent it to them right now. And I also work for my dad. With my dad, so I work for the life science company. My job is basically making sure the orders goes where and trying to get contract from uh, for uh, distribution companies and stuff like that. You know, so I do a lot of like some paperwork and then you know sales, um, just getting a quotation for the certain product or returning and all that stuff. So I do that like about hour or two every day working on my client about an hour and Friday, Saturday's check-in day. So that's like my busy day for me. But other than that, like I stay home and now I picked that up so I can focus on body everything 100%. So I'm really excited, like getting ready for my off season. But anyway, just wanted to tell you what I do for livings and all that stuff. Cause people are curious about that kind of stuff. Like how do you make money? So, you know, so most of our income comes from online coaching, which we love to do. And we, me and Sierra actually talk about it. Like for me, I, I used to like have the thing like, oh, I want to buy like nice car, nice house and all that stuff. But at the end of the day, I'm happy with Sierra, with my wife and my dog. So as long as we make enough money and pursuing our goals and we are happy, I think that's the success for life. So we don't have to like pursue the money. So we just need enough money to pursue our goals and our happiness. So that's where we at. And we are really, we are really happy to have all our online client who help us to pursue our goals, you know? But anyway, so I just finished my job. I'm done for today. It's 11.30 a.m. right now. So I'm just gonna start cooking some chicken breast before Sierra comes here so she doesn't have to like cook proteins and all that stuff. So all the carbs ready, sweet potato and rice, and all the proteins ready. We'll be ready, because I will be cooking. So either tilapia or chicken and, you know, surprise her. And I gotta change my laundry, so. Alright, Mir 2 is about to go down. Um, it's 1, 1 p.m., 1.10. Sierra just got home, took a shower from the gym. Today's my off day. So I got some rice. It's about 185 grams of rice. And then 7 ounces of chicken and homemade guacamole from Sierra. I love having some um, avocado, cer certain type of fat. I usually go a little higher fat on a rest day. And got some little bit of barbecue sauce here. And Sierra's getting ready to eat her chicken that I made. Mm -hmm. And I got a haircut coming up, so I gotta eat and then go get my haircut. And I'm gonna look like a brand new bitch. I guess we got a haircut. Ooh. So my beard lined up, I'm trying to grow back. I have a net Asian beard, but hey, I'm doing my best, you know? For a new village. Hey, and so, meanwhile, I'm hey, like, question. Yes. What do you have? What was the good question? I think I actually oh, got what's a... the difference between cardio, off season? We already did that one, never mind. Yeah. So I got a good question. Um, this, they ask you, how do we fight for the craving? How do we, like during prep? Yeah. You have sleep for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, like, that's the thing too. Like, we don't really like, I mean, yes, like, we get the craving, obviously, mm. like, I want ice creams and of stuff course. like that. But on a prep, it's not even, I don't even think about ice cream, like how dare am I like <laughs> dreaming about having ice cream, you know? So like for us, prep? it's just more like, damn, like I just want like a hundred grams of more sweet potato. Yeah. Or like, damn, like I wish I could have like an extra bowl of rice. Or damn, like yeah. I wish I could have more protein. For me, yeah, it's like, you honestly, know? it was until the last like three weeks, like I didn't even crave like shit food. Yeah. Yeah, it was like all I want is like more. Like I just want more because I'm just like hungry. Hungry, you know. And I just want like more sweet potato. I was eating like 40 grams of sweet potato per meal. It was so sad. Like all I wanted was what I get now, which is like 150 or 200 grams of sweet potato per meal. Yeah. And so, then I'm so ungrateful. All I want is like burger. <laughs> so like that's the thing too. Yes, we do have a craving like during off seasons and stuff. We do have that like the things, but. 
for off season, like I don't mind because I have probably one or two meals a week if I want to. Depends on what we are like craving, what yeah. we are eating. If we have pizza, I'm not gonna eat shit for another like week. Week, yeah. But if I'm like having something healthy, like let's say Mediterranean food or something like that, then we would keep it like twice a week. But for right now, we're trying to work on our metabolism back up. Mine is already back up, so, so good. I slowly started pushing my food a little bit or clean food. But I had something fun stuff like um, fat-free cheese here and yeah. there. So it really depends on, you know, so that cut my cravings out. So when we make the chickens and stuff, we put some like curry seasonings or some stuff like that, you know, just make it more fun. We don't give a shit about sodium intake right now because, you know, we work out this with a lot and this is not the right time to worry about sodium as soon as my blood pressure is fine, everything, like if you are healthy. So yeah, but anyway, so for craving wise, like we, I just want to tell you that too, if you have a craving and you cannot fight for it, you just don't want that bad. Like that's what it is. If you want to lose weight and you have a craving, sure, we all get the cravings. That's where we set apart. Like, do you actually follow your plan to get where you want it? Or do you just like, ah, I got cravings, so you order something else. Yeah. And then you just like wake up the next morning and feel like shit and you repeat that. Yeah. So if you want something bad, you just stick to it. If you don't, then you just don't have a mindset. That's how I see it. I agree a hundred percent. Preach. Preach. All right. So what's our um, plan? Honestly, I don't really have a plan for the rest of the day. We just did, I just did, finished folding laundry. He did the laundry, I folded it. Um, I finished my quad day already. I just did that, obviously yeah. off camera. Um, so I think the posing, I got a posing, oh, a posing session. yeah, posing about session. About the guy coming in about an hour. So I'm gonna try to have one more mirror. But I think our video is already getting longer, so we probably going to... Just like cut it here. Call it a day here. Oh, you know what? I do have one more question, and okay. I feel like that we could get into it to finish yeah. off the video here. Someone was asking about the burger and fries the night before a show. Okay. Why do we do that? Okay, so I don't do that to everyone. I personally don't have a burger or fries before the show, because I know it's weird. Um, I just feel like a lot of Asian people are not like working well with the burgers and... Well, yeah, it makes sense because it's like, what did you like grow up with? What did you grow up eating? Yeah. And like, what that's most likely that's gonna so, work best for you. Personally, I do pot thai the night before the show. It's been a tradition. It just makes me happy, and the next day I you look, look fucking good. I don't know the science behind it. I'll say more sodiums and stuff, and just like you know, generally I just look good on a pot thai versus her. She looks pretty good on a burger. But there's like a paper, you gotta just try it out. So don't throw the burgers and fries. I think like the better uh, explanation would be more like, why do you have such a big influx of food? Like why do you have pad thai? Why do I have burger? Like why do we have such a large meal when we're gonna try and look like shredded the next day, right? Because oh, most okay. people are like, oh, but why are you eating a burger? Like aren't you yeah. gonna look fat? So for us, like you gotta know that too. A lot of people just think about like, oh, you only need a carb, so I like carb up, but that's not true. Yeah. I see a lot of guys and girls looks better on a higher fat with the medium higher carbs. So instead of me pushing like thousand grams of carbs to fill it out, I have about more fat and less carbs. Cause carb hold water, you gotta know, like gram of carb hold about four milliliter of water. If you're pushing like thousand grams of carbs, no matter what, you just gotta hold on to the water. For sure, so I don't want to think about that. That's like a nightmare. Yeah, so fat so we want well. that dense food, low volume, that's not gonna upset my stomach. And that's usually where the burger comes in. Higher fat, a good amount of carbs, and good amount of protein. And, say, and then a lot of sodium too. So right. that's what you want. Same with the pad thai too. Higher fat, high, medium high carbs, and then like a medium like a protein okay. and then high high sodium you know so that's the one that's what you want for night before the show but again not everybody need it some people go extremely flat so they need like more food to fill out but there's like some people who actually does better with the clean food and then yeah. less amount of carbs and fat so you gotta find out what works for you the best way to do it get lean try out what, what worked the best for you Try like bunch of pickwick and then like see which plan that you look the best on. Yeah. yeah. All right. And then now and I'm that's it. Us out. So guys, don't forget to subscribe our channel and then don't forget to follow us on Instagram. We post a lot of like cute information or whatever yes. you guys want to see. Sierra IFBB Cho and IFBB, IFBB Pro, Pro Cho and Sarangi Iggy. Yeah, she's the cute one. So all she's right, we're gonna sign off. We Thanks love you guys. For Bye. Bye.